Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition, where apparently I have plans tonight. <laughs> I was hoping I was hoping those people wouldn't forget. <laughs> we operate we operate on that a lot of times, my friends and I. We're just like, oh yeah, I forgot. And we both just we all just know that we're just like, nah, I just was playing a video game or sitting around or something. <laughs> Didn't feel like getting off my butt. I have good friends. Legitimately, it's nice that we can all just get along without. But we get each other. We know how it goes. Oh, I'm trying to get comfortable. I'm like wrapped up in a blanket. I did just have some caffeinated beverage because I was getting tired. And I'm wrapping up in a blanket. I'm like, uh, I don't want to fall asleep, but okay. Um, who should we do? I feel like we should do a couple of those. Emerald Graves, Entries, and the Western Approach. Or take down Gordon. Maybe we'll just, we'll get bulls done. Whew. Whew. His would be the fastest. Besides, actually, that's not too long either, but. Let's go! Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 okay, okay, I remember there was something I wanted to do. Oh, my gosh. Ah! <laughs> hey, that's not what I was gonna do, that's not. I want to put Evade back on. Also, I was gonna rearrange. Was I, let me see, let me see, what do I, what do I have? So I don't, okay, I don't have Cloak of Shadows, okay. I was talking to Aurora again in the comments, and we were talking about a good setup. Check out, I wanted to check out this poison thing. There's an upgrade. You gain health when you attack. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's awesome. That's really good. Evasion, evade, enemies will sway. Now you move directly through the shadows to attack or retreat. I like that one, but that, that, that's, I'm not, like, do you just go, if you step into a shadowy area, do you go stealthy, or? What? Um... That's right, hang on, I gotta find, I gotta find the, the list. Okay. Um, here is the list. This is just, uh, the list that someone gave me to, that they've, of their preferred setup for an assassin archer. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give it a look. Uh, I, it's really good. Um, I'm just gonna... Maybe kind of experiment with it. Long shot up. No, that's not. Yeah. To the second one. Ah, okay, okay. I need to remember to use long shot at a distance. That's right. Um, stealth upgraded to the first one. Oh, right, right, you can, yes, I liked that one, I did. Um, poison weapons upgraded, obviously a good one. Leaping shot upgraded, well, I have it, yeah, you go into stealth. Full draw upgrade later, mark of the rift and evade. Upgraded to the second one. Uh... I'm gonna assume that's the first one, and this is the second one. I like the look of that, too. So what do I have on right now? I might- I was actually thinking I might take away the shrapnel one. Oh, and passive, the first blood. Hmm, first blood, I don't know where first blood is. Death from above. Oh, I have, um. Oh, that's. Death from above. First blood. Strafing shot. 
Yeah. The fighting dirty. Uh, oh, ambush. Okay. Where's fighting dirty? Hmm. Oh, is that the assassin one? No. I was never here's one. Knife in the shadows, throat cutter. Easy to miss and mercy killing. Easy to miss. Mercy killing. Okay. So many cool things. I was actually thinking about trading out my shrapnel one because it seems like the abilities that do a crap ton of damage are the full draw, long shot, and the leaping shot depending on where you're jumping. If you're close or not. I do like the explosive shot, but I do, but I also really like evade, <laughs> so I think I'm going to keep, I'm going to get evade back, put it where I like it, and then we will put hidden blades there. Perfect. Uh, let's actually... No, we'll keep... Yeah. No, we'll do... We'll keep the big shot in the front as an easy getaway. Hmm. Right, righto, righto. Um, off we go. To the storm coast. Does it... Okay, I can't. I just gotta head to the coast. I don't have to do anything specific. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> oh, there we go. Right there. It's probably actually easier to come from up here. The other one is located. Oh, Cole's card! I love it! That is beautiful. I love it. It's very, it is, it's, it's, it's subtly different from the spirit one. Um, bull, this is probably the last we'll see of Bull's card like this. Sola says something to that elven guy. Maybe we'll bring Cole though. Or Sarah. Sarah would be interesting to bring, too. Last time, I believe I brought Dorian, Solus, and Iron Bull. I might have changed it up, but... Let's do it! I'm, like, yawning constantly right now. Yawn, yawn, yawn. I'm just tired today. I don't know. I had plenty of sleep last night. Yeah, I think we have to go initiate the... I don't think it jumps out at you. I think you gotta go to it. Nope. All okay, right. I wasn't sure. Our Kunari contact should be here to meet us. He is. Good to see you again, Hisrod. Gat! Last I heard, you were still in Saharan. They finally decided I'd calm down enough to go back into the world. Boss, this is Gat. We work together in Saharan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. <gasps> Dorian looks this gorgeous! Say you're doing ah! good work. 
I just realized, like, I know I dyed his armor, but I love that collar thing. I didn't really notice that before. And I remember now, I need to get, I think I need to get, like, the Masterwork ba Battle Mage arms. Because I saw a picture on the internet, and it is, it's one that makes it poke out. And it's, like, like it makes a shoulder pad, like, poke out. And it looks really cool. So I need to get one of those, and I think then his outfit will be complete. But freaking, he looks good. His clothes bring out freaking Talon's eyes. <laughs> Anbul's name is Hisrad. Under the Kuhn, we use titles, not names. My title was Hisrad, because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions, or... Liar. <laughs> it means liar. Liar. Well, you don't have to say it like that. <clears throat> um... Should we be... Uh... I don't know. I'm only here because we both want to stop Corypheus. Indeed. The Tevinter Imperium is bad enough without the interference of this venatory cult. Yes. Oh, Filthy, cool. decadent brutes the lot of them. I'm certain life would be much better for all of us under the Kyun. It was for me, after the Canari rescued me from slavery in Tevinter. His eyes are beautiful. I was eight. The Kyun isn't perfect, but it gave me a better life. Yes. Ah. One free from all that pointless free will and Dorian. Such an improvement. Uh, should we side with Dorian? Oh my gosh, I don't know if I brought Dorian last time, but Talon's got that stupid arms being sucked into his side thing again. Or should we focus on the mission? <gasps> I don't know. For all of Tevinter's problems, at least they acknowledge that people are people. Ah. Uh, Unless they're slaves. Yeah. Gat, is this really the time? I'm not here to convert anyone. All I care about is stopping this red lyrium from reaching Minrathos. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose Sahara and see a giant Tevinter army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. Our dreadnought is safely out of view and out of range of any Venatori mages on shore. We'll need to eliminate the Venatori, then signal the dreadnought so it can come in and take out the smuggler ship. What do you think, Bull? Mm, don't know. I've never liked covering a dreadnought. Run. Ooh, I like his uh, the stuff on his face. If our scouts underestimate. I didn't notice it before. We're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatori mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos. There might be Venatory mages on the ship as well. If the Dreadnought can't handle them, it's unlikely there'll be more than two or three mages on the ship, and they'll be dead by the third shot. On land, though, a half dozen Venatori attacking the Dreadnought from cover could do some serious damage. Interesting. I didn't realize the Dreadnoughts were so susceptible to damage. If it's dangerous for the Dreadnought close to shore, why not attack when the smugglers reach open water? Any decent smuggling ship can outrun a dreadnought on open water. We need to catch them close to shore. I could have crushed any Venatori resistance with the Inquisition's main forces. Why not use them? Because then the Venatori would have seen you coming and run. They'd schedule a new shipment for later and our spies might not know when or where. This is risky, yes. But it's our best chance to destroy the shipping operation permanently. Let's go hold up our end of this bargain then. Right, my TV! My agent suggested two possible locations. Just, like, the Venatori out. may be camped to guard the shore. There and there. <laughs> yes, there and, and in those directions. Once. I'll come with you, boss. Krim can lead the charges. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready to move. Are we all gonna get along? Are we gonna be okay? I actually, I want to redo that really quick. We'll see. Oh, it probably just auto-saved, like, right now. Uh, let me see. Yep! Oh, frickity, I'll be back. This is actually pretty good. I need to. I would like to go to the war table and pick up uh, Josephine, and I think Leonas is done. The 
worship. Got to keep those guys busy. I really should talk to Varric and Bianca, but I just... I'm putting it off. Not for bad reasons at this point. I'm just like, I don't want to... Because I feel like once I talk to them, I'll have to do... I have to do that mission, like, ASAP. But I don't, but... Oh, I should cracked my neck, like... 30 times. Huh. Proudly. Wow, and the blade. Woo, it's a great sword. Nice. 100 influence, too. Fantastic. Interesting. Who knows? The Notori. Haha. <laughs> oh, wow. A masterwork Mabari grip. Cool, look at that Antivan picture. It's like all tropically. Er, yeah, Antivan. Cool. Wait, uh. Oh, right. I was gonna send out a test of metal and crew. Leliana seems like the best. Inquisitor. I don't know. I maybe should have looked that up. College of Magi. I might just do this alliances thing actually because I think that gives you. Oh, yeah. Ah, ha, ha! No, last time, no. I did that and they didn't give me anything. Let's do the alliances one so I can get Vivian. I might get Vivian's approval up. And I like the sound of the T-bolts instead of the de Let us begin. De rosary rays. De -ru -de -de -de. Sweet. Okay. I freaking love like Bull's that. face paint! It's so nice to hear friends say good things about me in their secret spy reports. He does. But they aren't really secret, are they? Cole! Look, Gat. Relax. Unlike our superiors, I know how it works out here. We're in this together. The Devinter Imperium is bad enough without the influence of this Venatory cult. Yeah. Woo! Filthy, I changed decadent it a bit. fruits, the lot of them. I'm certain life would be much better for all of us under the Kyun. It was for me. After the Canari rescued me from slavery in Tevinter, I was eight. The Kyun isn't perfect, but it gave me a better life. Yes, one free from all that pointless free will and independent thought. Such an Dorian is so gorgeous. Neither side is perfect. Let's say that. The Imperium and the Kunari both have their problems. Fair enough, I suppose. Uh... I'm Thank not you, here love. To convert anyone. Okay. Um. Holy crap. Uh, we're, uh, we're gorgeous. Uh, this guy. I kind of want to talk to this guy. Just waiting on you and his rod of iron bull, I guess. Okay. Um. Oh, okay, here we go. You knew Iron Bull back when he fought in Sahara. Yes. He led the group that freed Oh. Me. I was a Magister's slave, and when the Magister went to Saharon, he brought me along. For company. Iron Bull and his men attacked my master's ship and killed him, as well as his soldiers. Bull set me free. And you decided to start following the Kuhn after that? What do you think? 
I just watched a giant horned warrior kill the Magister who hurt me. He never told me about this. One of the few things he hasn't shared with you, I gather. Sure, Bull. Yeah. the secret Ben Hasrath reports, but keep that bit where you save the elf boy to yourself. <laughs> Is Bull going to get in trouble for passing those reports on? The Ben Hasrath aren't pleased with how forthcoming Bull has been, but he was one of their best agents. He kept the streets clean and Sahara on longer than anyone before him or after. He fought until it nearly killed him. The Ben Hasrath trust him enough to accept how he joined the Inquisition, even if they don't like it. Besides, they hate to discard a tool that might still have some use left in it. That's why I have a job. Uh. Sounds like following the Kuhn hasn't always been easy. I had a temper. Bull's nickname for me, Gat, comes from Gatlock, the explosive power in Canary Cannons. I was so angry when I was first freed. I wanted revenge. I wanted to find my family, who was still enslaved in Minrathos. I thought about leaving when the Kuhn didn't tell me what I wanted to hear. But I didn't. Why not? The Canari were always ready to listen, to teach. They cared for me as much as one of their own. <laughs> and if I leave, the parts of the Kuhn that I don't like are never going to change. Interesting. I like that. He's, like, willing to change it, you know? How did an elf end up working for the Kunari out here? The Ben Hasrath usually pick elves or humans to work outside of Kunandar. A little harder to spot. Mm -hmm. I've worked in Orle and Navara, but only for a few years now. What did you do before that? When I was old enough, I fought to Vinter forces in Saharon. I was too angry to do much else. It took me a long time to accept the Kuhn, to get past justice, to purpose. Some days are still difficult. A lot of it makes sense, and I respect a lot of it, of the Kuhn. No one's actually detailed how an alliance with the Kunari will help the Inquisition. The answer to that is above my rank. But the Canari don't really bargain. They don't know how. I doubt you want Canari troops stomping around your stronghold, and you're too far away for supplies to be useful. You get more use out of our ships, I imagine, and the agents we've got spread across Thedas. We know a lot more than what Bull sees in those reports he's been forwarding to your spymaster. Uh -huh. You have a minute to talk about the Kuhn. I'm a spy inquisitor, not a teacher. I'm not interested in converting anyone or debating the philosophy. He's got but warrior I armor it would on. Make for an interesting report to hear the Inquisitor's opinion of the Kuhn. To be honest, I don't really understand enough of the Kuhn to judge it. I think you have to be raised under the Kuhn for it ever to make sense. The people who join as adults either end up unhappy or, well, for many, it's just a kind of form of slavery. I like the simplicity. I like knowing my place and knowing that it's the right place. Other parts I've struggled with myself. He was young enough that he will understand, but it's still something I that... your pleasure, Inquisitor. It's still something that would be difficult, I assume. All right, Bull, you ready? Once they're down, send up your signal. That'll let the Dreadnought know it's safe to come in. Understood, Chief. Remember, you're gonna want a volley to start. But don't get suckered into fighting at range. They've got mages. It's all right. They've got a mage of our own. I'm not a mage. <laughs> Getting close and take their enchanter down before he takes over the battlefield. He'll be dead before he knows it. Just pay attention, all right? The Vince want this red lyrium shipment bad. Yes, I know. Thanks, mother. Kunari don't have mothers, remember? We'll be fine, chief. All right, chargers. Horns up! Horns up! Ready whenever you are, boss. I have seen the dialogue. I've heard of it, anyway. If you let the Chargers die, for, it's what Cole says. Krem's last moments. And I... It broke my heart. And I haven't even played that route. I never will. I will never, ever take that route. Ever. I'm ready to head out, Bo. Right. Chargers! Hit them hard and hit them fast. When this is over, drinks are on me. You got it, Chief. Chargers, double time. Let's move. Never. I will never, ever do that. It makes me want to cry thinking about it. Like, literally, I have tears in my eyes right now. Like, I can't... You gave your Chargers the easier target. I can't target. even... You think? Lower and farther from the smuggler's ship, it's much less likely to be heavily defended. Suppose we'll do the heavy lifting, then. Just like old times. 
Ha 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 ha, evil laughter. Is this the right way? I think it is, I just, uh... It is, okay. Alright, I need to remember, I need to remember, I need to remember. I need to flank. Prints up ahead! Don't let them warn the others. I need to flank. And, uh... Oh, gal. Um, oh, gal. Um... Oh, I killed you instantly! How fantastical! Um... Hey, is some help you are, guy! Fantastical! Okay. Oh, I was gonna jump, but I didn't. I don't have any stamina. What happened to my stamina? Oh, are we dead? That was quick! Iron Bull's reports say you're a demon. I'm trying not to be. Sometimes it's hard. I want to kill a lot of people, but, but I don't. Because the Inquisitor has bound you. Because it's not right. Bull, how can you work with a demon? He's all right. Yeah. Uh, so you picked Cole out of the group then. Interesting. Before it was Solus. And Solus is not nice to him. I need to do, I need to practice on, what is the one, uh, yeah, alright, doing that one from very far away. Nothing at all, Bull? No trouble having a vint behind you? Hope you like the vint. <laughs> you can't deny you enjoy butchering my people. Hey, butchering implies I'm gonna eat them. Most vints are just <laughs> bristle and fat in a red wine marinade. Oh, man. Well, that much is true. Interesting. Interesting. I like when Solus is with us that Bull says, you know, he's like, calm down, Solus, this is in the time. Um, where are we going? Down? I thought this was like the place, but I guess not. Over there? Wasn't that where we came from? This was supposed to be a trap, I think. They were gonna drop this on something. On, on anybody who came by? I don't know. Get ready. We're close. We're close. I think last time. Alright, let's try. Yeah, holy crap! That long shot does a lot of damage. Uh, where am I at? I can't find myself. You can't hurt me. You tell him, Cole. Where is I? I'm having a hard time. I'm having a hard time seeing anything. I can't. I think most of my shots got blocked there, but I can't, I can't see. Orders. Griffin wing keep. What? Something about Griffin wing keep. Didn't I? I didn't capture that keep, did I? I will get all the keeps this time around. Again, like I do. It just seems to make sense. There is stuff to be looted here. Something really cool, actually, for Bull. <sighs> Dread. Okay, sorry about the interrupt. Uh, I had a friend come over, and this is actually a new day because <laughs> the, we ended up doing something else instead of recording. So, yes, uh, but we're in the middle of Iron Bull's mission, and it was a weird place to stop. I know. But, oh, you're right, all right, all right, tried looting that, inventory is full, that's all fine and dandy and good and great, and, oh, hey, you know, while we're here, still haven't done that yet. Okay, let's do this. We're clear, Gat. Right, signaling the dreadnought. 
Chargers already sent theirs up. See them down there. <laughs> Proud Papa. I knew you gave them the easier job. I love Iron. There's I don't think I noticed knot. it before in the character screen, that but brings back memories. Shoot, I love it. <laughs> nice one. Crap. They've still got time to fall back if you signal them now. Yeah. Your men need to hold that position, Bull. They do that. They're dead. And if they don't, the Venatory retake it and the Dreadnought is dead. You'd be throwing away an alliance between the Inquisition and the Canari. You'd be declaring yourself Talvashoth. With all you've given the Inquisition, half the Ben Hasra think you've betrayed us already. I stood up for you, Hisrad. I told them you would never become Talvashoth. They're my men. I know, but you need to do what's right, Hisrad, for this alliance and for the Kuhn. Okay, so I remember once thinking this was kind of odd, um, and somebody pointed out in the comments once that it was that, that they thought it was really odd that Iron Bull looks to you for this. Because it's his men, it's his group, like it's his it's his Kuhn thing, like you are his boss, but he's never really he's never looked to you for how to run the chargers or anything like that. And then I read somewhere once that it actually makes a lot of sense for Bull to do this because his whole life he's been raised under the Kuhn. And it's been an authority figure for, and I'm not saying, I'm going to butcher it, but it's been an authority figure for him. You are his authority figure, the closest one at hand. And the fact that all that he looks at you, instead of just making the decision for the Kuhn, is amazing. And it shows that he does not want to do this. Um, but that he's going to look to you, his leader, technically, for this decision. And, I don't know, I might have to try to link it if I can find it again. It was really, really well written. And, uh, I'm just, I'm not doing it nearly credit. But, like, that, I mean, he's, his whole life, even out here, like, he's, he's been pretending to be Talvashoth. But his whole purpose in life has been to serve the Kume. But he got out here and he found the Chargers in a place where he, he could fit in in a different way than with the Kuhn and he's been so long away from the Kunari and the Kuhn and everything that like he has changed a bit and so now his loyalties are very equally divided and you are the you are the tipping point for him and I will never ever 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 tell him to save the Dreadnought I don't think I could ever do that even for an experimental playthrough because I know what will happen at the end you know, with Trespasser, like, this is a spoiler run, so, like, if you if you choose to save the Dreadnought in the end, Bull, air quote, betrays you. He doesn't betray you, though. Like, because technically, what you are doing if you tell him to save the Dreadnought is you are affirming the Kuhn as the highest power. You are affirming that the, that the Kuhn, that the Kunari, that their principles are above any individual or group of people. And so he's not betraying you. He's just doing what he told you he was doing. He was a spy. He's continuing to be a spy. You know? So, but this lets him not do that. This lets him become one of you. And I don't think... It doesn't really... There's not a whole lot of stuff. I wish that Trespasser or this game kind of showed you a bit more about maybe him losing control more? I don't know. Because technically the Talvashoth are supposed to be like out of control and insane, but a lot of the Talvashoth I've met, well at least in Dragon Age 2, and technically Bull, they are fine. They're like, they're normal. And I think Bull is a unique case in that he still believes in the Kuhn, perhaps, but he doesn't he just refused to sacrifice his men for that, for that cause, you know? So... Call the retreat. Don't! They are falling back. All these years, Hisrad, and you throw away all that you are. For what? For this? For them? Aha, yeah! 
Oh no! Alright, we okay, game? That's alright, it's on the PC, so that one happens every now and then. If I play on the console version, because it's split between like PC and console, if I play like Witcher is on like the console version, but I have to play with Dragon Age on the PC side of things, so it does that sometimes. Uh... His name is Iron Bull. I suppose it is. Kunari should have a defense against this, now. though. They're supposed to be like. Oh, when the Dreadnought sinks. Sinks? Kunari Dreadnoughts don't sink. <sighs> Come on. Let's get back to my boy. Either way, we're sacrificing people. We may not have known those ones specifically, but there were like a hundred Kunari on there. You know? And. And there's a good reason why Bull's tarot card turns into what it is. To what it turns into, anyway. Hey, boss. Inquisitor, it is my duty to inform you that there will be no alliance between our yeah, peoples. Yeah, figured! Nor will you be receiving any more Ben Hasrath reports from your Talvishoth ally. You under orders to kill me, Gat? No. The Ben Hasrath have already lost one good man. They'd rather not lose two. They know. Bull was one of the best. So much for that. Oh. Uh, should we try? I'll try that one? The loss of the Ben Hasrath information will hurt. Can we smoke out some of your old contacts? They'll pull their people soon enough, but we might be able to identify the agents who replace them. Ah, okay. You're late. Sorry, Chief. Still sore from fighting off all those events. Good to see you, Inquisitor. Ah! Uh. How did the charges come out of the fight? Just fine. Thanks to you and the Chief, we had plenty of time to I fall I will back. never ever lose Chief you, Krem. breaking open a cask of chasing sack mead for the charges tonight. Damn it, Krem. That's <laughs> the kind of thing you don't have to mention to the Inquisitor. I won't take any. Sorry, Chief. Ah, forget it. You're doing fine. Yeah, see, this is, this is how Iron Bull should be. Other, It doesn't... You can't... You can't do that to him. You can't. He would lose, like, right. That's why. his soul. A, car, a Kunari bench. Oh, it's a throne? Oh. Oh, now I have the Kunari one. Right, right. The one that looks like a boat, I think. Let me see. We have the we have the Kunari decor. I only have four thrones. All right, fine. You know what? Let's get this over with. Let's get it. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll save that. I appreciate the warning, but you shouldn't have come yourself. What if the guild found out, or what's his name? Are you worrying for me or for yourself? A little of column A, a little of column B. I am the expendable one, after all. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, I'll protect you. We'll just have to... Well, this is a surprise. You're the Inquisitor, right? Bianca Davry, at your service. Mm. Your name is Bianca. It's a common name. Half the girls in the Merchant's Guild are named Bianca. The other half are named Helga. I lucked out. <laughs> I take it you're a friend of Varix. Who isn't a friend of Varix? You have met him before, right? Any friend of Varix is welcome here. Be careful saying things like that. Some of his friends you don't want to meet. Yeah, probably not. Well... Maybe you do. Who am I to judge? Bianca's got a lead on where Corypheus got this his This is very rear. important story-wise. The site of Bartrand's Folly, the tag Varric found, has been leaked. Oh, There's they a call it Bartrand's Folly. Strange humans carting out red lyrium by the handful. Strange humans? You can get there from Orlais. It's a long way to the free marches. 
The deep roads are all connected, or they used to be. Collapses and such, some of them on purpose. They really are roads. They spanned the Dwarven Empire, went to every corner of the continent, maybe further. In theory, you can get to any Taig using the deep roads, but in practice, well, there's a reason nobody uses them anymore. Yeah, well, it's because there's darkspawn and they're caved in and... How do we know they're not using multiple entrances to get to the Taig? Navigating the deep roads isn't like the surface. There's no accurate maps of the whole system, and there are cave -ins, I'm surprised. Spawn, I would floods. think the shape rate would have something. If you something. find a route that gets where you're going, you don't deviate. I mean, accurate Trying maps now. They probably had deadly. the way they were, but not anymore. Who could have given away the Tig's location? <laughs> there were a few people who knew. Hirelings from the expedition, a couple of close friends. Anders. How Hawk. they found out isn't important. Well, for me. What matters is we know where they are now. Bethany. If it's such a secret, how do you know about it, Bianca? I told her. Right after the expedition, I wrote and told Bianca what we found. I had artifacts that needed buyers, and she had more contacts that would pay for them. Plus, I owed her. Owed her from what? <laughs> we need to deal with this. As long as he has this source, Corypheus is that much more powerful. I couldn't agree more. I'll keep an eye on their operation. If you're interested in shutting it down, you've got my help. Try not to leave me waiting too long, Varric. I've got my own work to do, you know. <sighs> I'm really torn right. on this Bianca That's thing. It's not going to be trouble at all. Let me know when you want to head to the entrance. It was after I liked her, actually, and I'd heard that there are people who were unhappy with her, but I liked her f just fine until I read the comic where you see a little bit and you hear a little bit about her and Varric's past, and, and it kind of makes me upset. With the way she treats him. And then there's the name of the uh, the quest here. I love that name. <laughs> Let's see, does he say anything? If you've got questions, I'm your dwarf. Oh, wow, we can ask that. <laughs> Tell me the truth, Varric. Do you actually think I was sent by Andraste? Oh, shit. This is going to be awkward. I guess I do. Either you're guided by the hand of some higher power, or you have the worst luck. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have pegged you as an Andrastian. It's a great story. It's got heroism, love, betrayal, and random musical numbers. <laughs> What's not It's like? true. I don't have a nug in this race. It could be bullshit, it could be true. I'll never know. But I like the idea that maybe you could save the world with a song. I like that. I do, I remember that. I like that a lot. Uh... Why are those my only options? Look at all the shit that's happened to you. You were saved from the explosion that leveled a mountaintop and fell out of the fade. Twice. You fought a demon inside your mind in the middle of a pitched battle between Templars. Yeah, that was fun. Faced down one of the ancient magisters who started the blights, had a mountain fall on you, and lived, stopped an army of demons. I had help. One of those things would be impossible. All of them together? That's a miracle. So I have to find bad luck. Uh. Uh. I don't know. I'm having. Sometimes I'm. I'm a, I feel like Talon is a jokester, but he also gets very solemn sometimes. I'm having a hard time kind of trying to keep a balance there. But uh, we can laugh about it. So on the it. basis of my extraordinarily bad luck. <laughs> you think I'm Andraste's herald? If you know the story of Andraste, you know that bad luck is sort of her thing. Well, there we go. Okay. Um, I'm going to call this here because this is hopefully going to be added on to the last part. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. I'd be interested to hear your opinions on it. So, uh, about the Iron Bull thing and the Varric thing. With Bianca specifically. Uh, so thank you again. I will see you in the next one.